Hello, welcome to my setup. So I know this is gonna look a little bit trippy, but I will explain to you step by step on how to connect your Android phone to your computer, to your streaming app, and then on Facebook gaming. Hi everyone, Alodia here and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a special video because I've been asked this a lot and I hope to be able to teach you how I stream my games on Facebook. This can be something to jumpstart your career so, or maybe something you do for fun. But I will explain to you step by step on how to connect your Android phone to your computer and then to your streaming app and then on Facebook gaming. So yes, maybe we can start. Especially for this video, we got a new Huawei Nova 7 phone so maybe we can do a, a mini unboxing first and we can proceed to all the connections in a bit. If you guys have any questions don't hesitate to leave them below so that I may answer them for you anytime in this video if you get confused or whatnot but yes do let me know I'm here to help you guys sensei Elodie in the house <laughs> and I hope I teach you guys a thing or two. All right, game. So a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago, I got to test this phone, the Huawei Nova 7, when we were able to launch the 5G network here in the Philippines. I was super, super excited because you know, that's like a game changer, especially when you're doing a lot of gaming and you don't have Wi-Fi. 5G is actually 10 times faster than 4G. So imagine that there's no ping, no lag, latency is super low, no packet loss. So pretty cool. All right, game, I'm super excited. All right, game, before we open the box, here's what it looks like. I love that it's holographic over here. Here we go. And Shannon. We have like a circular thing over here. I think it's what you use to put the SIM. Here we go, we have a brand new Huawei Nova 7. Oops. <laughs> and not sure what color this is, but it's like a deep royal blue. Love how it shines. Amazing. And it has like four cameras. AI quad camera with 20 times zoom. So that's super cool when you do a lot of traveling, especially when you do telephoto videos or photos. All right, let's check out what we still have here in the box before we talk about the phone. Here we have the plug, which is USB. There you go. And we have some cables we have an adapter so if you guys want to use your own pair of headsets you can use this adapter here you go it's a USB-C to a 3.5 mm jack so that's like the basic for the current headphones we have in the market right now all right so for charging we have USB to USB-C pretty standard for most of the latest Android phones out here now um, we also have earphones perfect and the microphone over here so it's a headset if you want to talk privately to someone all right so let's get to the phone if you're a gamer like me, syempre isa sa mga dapat na lagi natin kinoconsider ay ang connectivity. Hindi natin masisigurado na there's good Wi-Fi connection everywhere we go. Kaya it's best to have a 5G-enabled device that is very reliable in terms of connectivity. Alright, let's talk about 5G. Why am I sharing this? I think this will help you now more than ever. Kasi 5G has large bandwidth, meaning it's 10 times faster than 4G. It has massive connection, so you can expect stable signal. It's secured because it promises encrypted data and private connections. Lastly, it has low latency, so you can achieve smoother and seamless playing or streaming games with your friends, family, and loved ones while you're at home. My Huawei Nova 7 5G is equipped with a robust Kirin 985 chipset that enables the devices to stay connected without any compromise to connection, speed, and quality. For all the avid mobile gamers out there, rest assured that you will be gaming in the best of resolutions and lowest of latencies, which allow you to take your game to the next level. The graphic processing unit used in Huawei Nova 7 5G offers excellent image processing that accommodates large 3D games, enabling high picture quality and a smooth gaming experience. Pero 5G ay hindi lang beneficial for gaming needs. You can maximize this because you can also enjoy smooth and clear Zoom meetings and online classes, huge file uploads and downloads in just seconds, seamless video calls and app downloads in lightning speed. Also, don't forget to check out the Huawei App Gallery Farm to get Huawei coupons, popular vouchers, and more. Only until October 31.
Some of these thrilling games are Garena Free Fire. So, all right, go check it out. Now, I guess we are ready to connect our Android phone to the computer. Number one accessory to have is the HDMI out on your Android phone. Make sure it's compatible. So, we got one on the Facebook Marketplace. Maybe you can get one in your trusted accessory shop. So, this one is a USB C to an HDMI out. So, some Android phones are micro. USB, make sure to get the right one. So you just attach it here and out comes the HDMI. So you have to also have your own HDMI cord. And after that, you make sure you have your own video capture device. There are a couple of video capture devices out in the market. So it's really up to you which one you want. It's mostly about compatibility issues. Some of them are 4K. Sometimes you don't actually need 4K on stream. So HD is good. So 1080p, stuff like that. Sometimes even 720p is okay. It depends on your internet speed. So yes, whatever is available to you, and of course, according to your budget, do try it out. And after that video capture device, you just plug it into your computer and voila, you already have your Android phone connected to your computer. It's that easy. Make sure you have your phone fully charged because some adapters don't have power supply. So if you're planning to stream, two or more hours that means you have to have like at least a full charge to be able to stream that long okay all right now we can head on to our computer and i will show you guys my favorite streaming app and how to input everything on it all right okay let's go all right hi guys um welcome to my setup so i know this is gonna look a little bit trippy but on my background is the application i use to stream for my streams on facebook gaming so let me show you guys a little of what's it about i'll make myself a little smaller so here you can see some scenes I'm just gonna duplicate myself and make myself a little smaller so you can see where we can input our devices. All right, so this is OBS. Here we have our scenes. Sorry, I have a lot of scenes. And in each scene, we have like different stuff we can uh, modify with our layouts. But I chose to show this one so that I can explain to you guys everything over here. First scene, we have a lot of sources. So I have my layout for Discord. And here's my mic my camera um, when I pick a winner something like that sometimes I also have like a sky background so if you want to have a sky if you want to put our phone here which is connected to the HDMI connector which is connected to our video capture device we can do this all right so now what we have to do is click this little plus button and add a video capture device and for now what we are using is the Elgato game capture HD click OK all right and voila there you go you already can see your phone over here we have the app gallery themes music and video and now we want to download some stuff first we go to the Huawei app gallery you can just search it over here type in NBA <laughs> there you go install all right so I'm gonna install a couple of games so that I can show you maybe later I want to log in so that I can uh, I can put in my wild rift. Here we go. Wild rift. Oh, so if you're not logged in, it says not available yet. Add to your wish list to get it sooner. All right, let's just download some games at the moment. All right, so while that's installing, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Facebook gaming. All right, so now we are here. Of course, you have to have your own page, so make sure you have your own Facebook gaming page. You type in fb.gg slash streamer. There you go. Um, let it load. So I manage a lot of pages at the moment. So let's go to my main page, which is Alodia Goshing Fiao. You have a lot of stuff here over at the Creative Tools live dashboard. So here you go. What you want to do is you scroll down a little, set up live stream. And it'll take you to another page. And over at this page, what you want to look for is the setup options. We want to use persistent stream key. So you need this one. So on the stream, you will need your server URL, server URL, and the stream key over here. That's very unique to each and every page that you have. So make sure, like say copy, click copy. There you go. Make sure. And then we go back 
to OBS. We go back to OBS. All right, it's gonna look so trippy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is insane. We go back to OBS and we click OBS. We click on settings and on the settings, on settings, you click the stream here. Make sure you click on custom and here is where you paste the server URL, okay? The next one, the stream key, this is where you get the stream key. You'll go back to uh, the dashboard, get your stream key, copy, then paste it over here. It will say like a lot of asterisks, that's for your safety and privacy, then click apply. If it's new, then okay, and you're all set. Then when you're ready, you just click start streaming, and when it says start streaming, it should come out over here. Oops, I'm covering it. Um, see, you can see that you have a preview of your stream over here. Then, of course, you add your live stream title, blah, blah. <laughs> and description of your stream, hello. And then add a game. For example, you are playing Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends. There you go. Just click it over here. And if you want to share it with your page groups, here you just click as much pages as you want. Make sure <laughs> it's on topic um, add a group to promote so for example I'm playing Dota so I click my page Dota circle also here here are some settings stream settings what I normally do is the comment section so that it won't be super crazy I just click followers option so that only followers can leave a comment so when all of that is done pretty easy make sure audio is good and everything you just click go live and you're super good I guess that's it basically some up how to how to stream your game mobile games all right guys so that's basically it that's how easy it is to connect your phone to your computer to your stream and finally you can stream your own mobile games on your page on facebook gaming i'm super excited for you guys let me know if this video has helped you please tag me on instagram or facebook or twitter i would be so happy to see how this actually maybe contributed to you guys so yeah um if you have any more questions again don't hesitate to leave your comments down below and again thank you so much to huawei for sponsoring this video because they are amazing and i'm super excited to be working with them and if there's any any more video tutorials you want to see from me do let me know don't don't forget to hit subscribe, click the notification bell, all of this stuff, and good luck, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!